Koji Code resident Jolly Shaju, already accused of killing six members of her family, allegedly plans to kill two more people this time children. Last year, in October, a man named Rojo Thomas, a non-resident Indian living in the United States, grew suspicious about the death of his parents, brother and other family members, which happened over 14 years. He complained to the police and demanded a reinvestigation into cases that had been previously closed as unnatural deaths. Following this, a team of police officials and forensic medicine experts opened burial vaults at St. Lord's Church in Kudathayi, and St. Mary's Church in Kodancheri, and Kerala's Kojiko district, where the family members had been buried. Little did they expect a murder mystery behind the serial deaths to unravel. Soon the investigators zeroed in on Jolly Joseph, Roy Thomas, Rojo's brother, former wife. For years, Joseph talked about how her house was cursed, blaming it for the unexplained deaths. Her mother-in-law apparently died from a mysterious illness. At least three of her close relatives suffered fatal heart attacks, and her two-year-old niece choked to death on a piece of food. But in October, Kerala police presented a different theory, they alleged, Joseph had poisoned each of them by giving them cyanide-laced food, and then covered up her crimes with lies. Jolly Joseph is now in Kojiko District Jail. Here is a dossier of all the developments of the serial murders which State Police Chief Lognath Bahir described as a challenging probe. The mother of two seemed to be a pious, jovial person, neighbors said. Every day, she left home, on the pretext of going to her job as a professor at the prestigious National Institute of Technology Calicut. NIT, University, about a half hour away from home, according to police. She was smart and spent her spare time helping in church activities. Neighbors never <laughs> had a shadow of doubt on Jolly until the very recent turn of events. Jolly Joseph was the perfect daughter in law. She was very smart and efficient. She participated in the community, organized things, people liked her, Minoj Kamartiti Kudithayi, member of the local Omasari Gram Panchayat. On October 5, police arrested Jolly Joseph, 47, for the murders. They also arrested jewelry employee and relative M.S. Matthew, Shaji, and goldsmith Pranjakumar, 48 for providing cyanide to Jolly Jospet. On August 22, 2002, Joseph's mother-in-law, and Emma fell unconscious immediately after drinking some mutton soup. She was hospitalized and later died. According to police, Jolly killed her mother-in-law and Emma to gain control over the finances at home. Six years later, Tom Thomas, her father-in-law also passed away, after swooning and collapsing. Police said Jolly killed Thomas to seize the family's property. Reportedly, Thomas had given her the money from the sale of a two-acre paddy field. He also told her that she would not have rights over the remaining property, which would be divided between his son and daughter. However, it was later found that Jolly forged Thomas' will, which said the family property should be given to Jolly, and her husband Droy. In 2011, Jolly killed her husband Droy Thomas. He had an alcohol problem, and did not have a steady income. Allegedly, she mixed cyanide in his rice and chickpea curry. The cause of death was then ruled as suicide due to financial issues as the post-mortem report showed traces of poison. She later killed a Matthew, Roy Thomas' maternal uncle, after he cried foul over Roy's death. Matthew had demanded a post-mortem on the previous deaths. Matthew's wife not at home that day, and Jolly mixed cyanide in his coffee. After Roy's death. Jolly married Roy Thomas' paternal cousin Shaju, who is the son of the Tom Thomas brother. In 2016, she also killed Shaju's two-year-old daughter Alphine, by giving her a piece of bread that had cyanide on it, and Shaju's wife Silly. While it was first suspected that Shaju had a part to play in the murders, he was later let off after police interrogation. During investigations, 
It was found that Joseph had introduced herself as a teacher at the National Institute of Technology at Kojikode, and she had even forged the institution's identity card. She told her relatives that she was a commerce teacher at NIT. It was later found that Jolly Joseph had also tried to kill her husband Roy's sister Renji, by giving her a poisoned Yurvedic tonic. Soon, as crucial evidence, a substance obtained from the dashboard of Jolly's car tested positive as cyanide. A sample of cyanide was also discovered from the Pa Amadam house. After 14 weeks of investigation, finally, on January 1st, a 1,800 pages long charge sheet was filed at the Thamarasari Magistrate Court in Kerala, India. This was pertaining to the alleged murder of her first husband Roy Thomas. Jolly Joseph was named as the prime accused. She was formally charged with murder, destruction of evidence and Section 6, 2, of the Indian Poison Act for crimes committed using poison. After four other charge sheets, the final charge sheet was submitted on February 10. Jolly is under trail now. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly don't forget to subscribe our channel.